friend, today has put Glimmer from the Hunger Games into the spotlight. Glimmer is a female tribute from District 1 who is killed by Tracker Jack of Venom after Katniss drops the nest on her and the other careers. Let's see if she does indeed shine. Let's have a warm round of applause for Glimmer! <laughs> Glimmer is an English word that means a faint or wavering light. A lot of the children from District 1 are named for something special or precious. District 1 is the home of luxury goods and the names often reflect this. We often say that jewels will glimmer in the light. Compare this with her district partner's name, Marvel. Marvel! <laughs> However, Glimmer's name is also a good indication of her future in the games. She had a faint chance of winning and could have amounted to much more. <laughs> Glimmer is a lot smarter, specifically people smart, than most fans realise. We realise quite quickly that she isn't talented with the bow and arrows at all. It's definitely likely that one of the other career tributes is just better at using a bow and arrows than she is. And yet, Glimmer is the one who gets the bow and arrows. Glimmer must have convinced the others that she was actually talented with this weaponry and therefore convinced them to let her use it. However, despite her smarts and the fact that she came from a career district, the odds that she had of winning were only 7 to 1. likely due to her not having many physical strengths or attributes. There was quite a few differences in Glimmer's character between the book and the movie. There were some small differences, like her eye colour went from emerald green to dark blue. No fighting with the other tributes. Her clothing was changed quite a bit. For the tribute parade in the book, Glimmer and Marvel were spray painted silver and wore tunics. However, in the movie we see them wearing fuchsia outfits covered in feathers and jewels and she has a big headdress on. There they are. This year's tribute. <laughs> oh, as for her interview, in the book Glimmer is described as wearing a see-through gold gown and being very flirty and provocative. But in the movie, she's wearing a short light pink dress and she's very cocky and confident. Glimmer, are you prepared? Yes, Caesar, I am very one of the biggest changes is her tribute token. We learned in the book that she had a tribute token that was confiscated from her. Her token was a ring with a gemstone on it. However, when you twisted the gemstone, a poison spike would come out. Glimmer claimed that she was unaware that the ring could be turned into a weapon. Unfortunately, this whole story arc was just removed from the movie. This movie was Levin Rambin's first major studio film and it helped propel her onto other big projects. Do you think that Glimmer could have gone far if it hadn't been for the Tracker Jackets? Please tell me in the comment section down below. And until next time, happy bubbles! If you want to see any of my other videos, you can click on the box on the left to find out if Kato liked Clove or if he liked Glimmer, or you can click on the box on the right to find out what would have happened had Katniss not volunteered for the games. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos.